I'm Iona Leesk and I'm 26 years old. I'm an Operations Programme Coordinator at the Spaceport. My name is Brian Priest and I am 25 year old. I am Community Projects Officer at Saxport Spaceport. So I went and studied to be a primary school teacher and um, was my first job and so I did my four year degree. I taught for a year in Glasgow um, in a city there and then got this job after that. So I, I contacted the Spaceport because I'd already worked for them um, to come back just because of how close-knit the company is. I think I'd already seen that. It's kind of like a big family. I think it is like a big family. Them. Yeah. Um, yep. We are <laughs> a very interesting, a very eclectic group of people. I moved to Edinburgh to study public relations and events management, uh, but I graduated in 2020. Uh, COVID when there was no events. So <laughs> there was nowhere for me to really go. <laughs> so I moved back home to Shetland. Then I saw the job for administration at the spaceport. And I've always been really interested in space. So when I was younger, fascinated by space, loved it. But growing up in Shetland and Scotland, then you don't really think you're gonna do a job in the space industry. You think you need physics or math. And some of our employees, Obviously, yes, very good at physics and maths, but physics was my worst at school. Yeah. Actually getting to do something with the operations team as well. I thought if I was here, I would maybe be more corporate kind of side of things, but I'm right in the heart of it with the operations team on site. So I'm getting to work with those guys that have physics and aerospace degrees, which is so cool. We've got our office here in Anse, where the spaceport's located. Um, you've, we've got the office in Larvik as well, so it's kind of, there's a, there's a lots of different options as well. And um, there's parts in, of the company that are based off of Shetland as well, so you can work with mm -hmm. teams external to Shetland as well through the company, which it kind of does give you a bit more variety, I think. Yeah, so we kind of get the best of both worlds in that we love Shetland, we get to work here in the space industry, but as well as that, we get to travel yeah. with our job. I always said, I'll move away and do university, but I knew that as soon as I moved back, I was just gonna stay here forever. I want to raise my family here. I've got a big family here. I still feel like I'm in a very remote place, but I love it. Yeah, there's elements of being remote that are actually positive. Quite a lot of, there is a lot of positives to being in a remote place, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, it doesn't feel all that remote because I'm from this island originally, I've lived here. All my family are still here, so it feels like the whole island is your family. You've got a whole community here behind you and celebrating your achievements. So while you're making similar achievements to what people might make in a city, you feel more seen and celebrated for that. Not that that's a big thing, but it's definitely a nice thing. Yeah, everybody's got your back. And I feel like as well in Shetland, there's loads of different types of community. So there's community everywhere in Shetland, but the community in Unst is completely different to how it kind of shows itself in Scala. Yeah. <laughs> um, or Yell, for example. Yeah. Um, so there's like a kind of almost a place for everyone um, and loads of different places to kind of explore before finding a place that's probably right for you yeah. if you were coming here. But in terms of the actual place that we live and where the company is located, there is so much um, going on um, for young people too. Mm -hmm. In terms of, I mean, we've spoken about music, we're both really into music um, and Shetland's the kind of place for that, especially for the kind of music I play, it's traditional Shetland or Scottish music, that there's a lot happening here for that and it's kind of the place for, for me to be able to push forward for that a little bit. Um, but yeah, so generally big, big support from the local community because it's almost like the Air Force coming back. It's not quite the same, obviously, but it is, it's like a, you know, a new sector that nobody ever imagined to come back and bring jobs. So here we've got the ongoing construction on the site and we've got three launch pads. So we've got one launch pad, launch pad one, really well developed, the infrastructure coming into place for Rocket Factory Augsburg from Germany. Um, on the far end of the peninsula, right at the end, that's launch pad three, launch pad Elizabeth, and in the middle, we'll have a second launch pad. So three launch pads, and we'll be building up to 30 launches per year.
Initially, there were people who were skeptical, like didn't just didn't believe that this could happen. Yeah. Understandably <laughs> so. Rockets on us yeah. <laughs> didn't really sound like something that anyone had on like in their periphery. But um, yeah, the more that it's gained momentum and we have hit some milestones and things are happening and we had a rocket test on site, etc. People are starting to believe it and they're now that we've got people believing it and seeing it and thinking, oh yeah, that's real, that is happening, then there's a lot of support, I would say, for it. Majority yeah. is positive.